countryside. It's your usual suspects back with another weekly update. Uh, today is Monday, October 7th. Good job. And we've got another special guest. Yes, sir. Mark Hoffman. Thank you. One of our residents here at Countryside reached out, wanted to get in on the one bite business. Oh yeah. <laughs> I love the food here. So. Well, awesome. thank you, Mr. Hoffman. That's, yeah. that's, we appreciate that. Um, how long you've been here in Countryside? Uh, three years, one month, and one week. You I'll know stay. it down to the day. Yeah. I'll you stay. love it that much. Yeah, I do. That's awesome. Been That's counting. awesome. Been counting. And you're in uh, Country Haven. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. Country Haven. Country Haven. Oh, you know what? I love that. <laughs> I'm going to start using that. We do. I, we have hats that say Country Get out of here. Oh, yeah. No. That's why, awesome. why have we not been informed that of this? Awesome. <laughs> That's really cool. Well, you're, you're one of our biggest supporters, yeah. um, especially through the off season. So we appreciate everything you do for us and keeping us busy. And uh, I'm not just saying that. So we get a favorable review here, <laughs> oh, okay. but I mean that from the heart. Um, but we're gonna kick off this video as we normally do with uh, with a one bite. We're a yeah. week into this new menu. Yes, new menu started uh, last week. Yep. Uh, had some really good feedback, good reviews on the food so far. Yes. One of the yes. items that we're, well, the item that we're trying today has gone over really well. So people really enjoyed this one. It's a nice play on a particular sandwich, so we'll talk about that here in a second. Well, why don't you talk about it, Scott? Just jump right into it, Jump right, right into right. it. What do we got All here? Right, so we've got our Kickin' Honey Chicken Philly. It ties in my, my mouth kickin a little bit sometimes when I say it. Kickin' Honey Chicken right. Philly. Yes, Kickin' Honey Chicken Philly. So it's got a little bit of hot honey. Ooh. Uh, it is sliced chicken. Okay. So thinly sliced, almost like deli chicken. Okay. Um, we got cheese, we got lettuce, tomato, but that 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 cheese is melted. It's a, it's a hot sandwich, more sandwich. Yeah. Um, but you know, it's just just chefs play on a on a uh, a Philly cheesesteak, yeah. but you know, with chicken, a little bit of that hot honey, so it gives it a little bit of a kick, but not awesome. not overwhelmingly spicy. All right, yeah. Well, um, jump right in. Let's jump right in, yeah, man. We know how it works, that right? Like a plan. One bite. I think maybe that could be Mr. Hoffman's there because you could take the rest of that with him. Joe, if you want to grab your guy, we'll, let's step back here. Joe, I'll take the one that's closer to the pickle because I know that you've got. You know, uh, 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 I wasn't going to say anything, Scott, but thanks issues. for thinking about me. No problem at all. My pleasure. <laughs> so everyone knows the rules. Yes. One bite or two. Sometimes or two, two. You know, whatever. Whatever it takes. Uh, one to ten. Decimals encouraged. Decimals are encouraged. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All, all right. right. Jump in. Dig right. in. Come in. Hey, Deb, you have a second? Yeah, sure. All right. Have an idea. Looks delicious. Since the boys are always doing the one bite review, I thought we'd do our own. Oh. Um, since Jay and I, chef, are we share a desk now, he made us a salad. Oh, that's so awesome. So we're going to try it. That's and great. it's And it's blue zone friendly, and it's vegetarian. All so right. I thought you would like to try it with me. This is called the Autumn Brussels Harvest Salad. Okay. And it's blue zones friendly, so All right. I thought we'd give it a try. Should we dig in? Yeah, it All looks right. delicious. Let's see. It has goat cheese, which is one of my mm. favorite. Oh, there's apples. Mm. Yeah. Very fresh. Very good. I think the surprise, did you see there's, there's apricots in here? Mm. Yeah, the sweetness from them and the apples and the creaminess from the goat cheese mm -hmm. and the crunchiness from the Brussels sprouts. Mm. Delicious. Really good. Really good. What do you give it? I would have to say a 9.5. A 9.5. Yeah. I mean, this is right up my alley, so. I would nine say, five. I would say I'd be right there with you, maybe like a 9.3 or a 9.5. Really good. So if you're interested in blue zone menu items, this is it. The Autumn Brussels Harvest Salad. It's Delicious. absolutely great. To me, it brings a little bit more sweetness yeah. than anything yeah. else, which changes that sandwich up in my mind, yeah. you know, from what I was expecting. Yeah, it's not spicy at all. No. It's very no, I don't think so either. Are you comfortable and ready to score here? I think so. Yeah? You got it, you got it in your head? Yep. All right. Scott, let's grab the board. Yes, sir. Sounds like a plan. Um. Writing our stuff down, we turn one, two, three. Is that what we're looking at uh, here? I think I'm going to let you that do way the there's countdown. No, there's no pressure. I'm oh. going to let you do the oh, countdown. I appreciate today. that, Joe. That's All right. A, it's a big task. Thank you very much. All right. 
I got mine. I got mine. All right, we're set. All right, all right Scott, we're going to go on the count of three, so we're going to go three, two, one, all right? All right, three, let's do it. Three, two, one. 8.892, and I got a 7.8. Get you. Get you. What? Joe, you'd like to be, you know, I mean, I, I, I appreciate it. I appreciate <laughs> the, uh, again, it's not a criticism. I don't think there's any criticism no there. No criticism but, at all. But you, you know, you, you, uh, you like to be as, as, uh, I, I am very, I am very specific with my food tastes. Sure. And you're trying to be as fair as possible. Oh, it wasn't pork at least. It was, yeah, it wasn't <laughs> pork, yes. Um, no pickles on it. No, I thought it was a great sandwich. Yeah, I, it was I think a great so sandwich. too. Yeah. yeah um, I like I like the hot honey. Yeah. Uh, I think it really throws a good yeah. mix in there. Yeah. And bun was really nice. Yeah, that's... A little bit of a toasted bun. Yeah. That's really good. We use those on uh, a few different sandwiches that we've had, and mm -hmm. that's, that's my favorite. Yeah, my yeah, favorite yeah. sandwich roll that we have. So. Get your mouth around it. That's, it's that's a big sandwich. Yeah. It is for yeah. sure yes. filling. That for for some of our uh, members, that could be two meals. Yeah, right. No doubt about it. Half for lunch, bring half home sure. for dinner. Exactly. Yeah. So you you whatever. you'd recommend it? I'd highly recommend it. Excellent. Yeah. Oh, that's what we like to hear. Excellent. Excellent. It's different than a lot of the other sandwiches we yeah. have on the yeah. 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 Very true. Yeah. So yeah. it's nice. So yeah. it gives a nice variety. That's awesome. Beautiful. Awesome Beautiful. to hear. Well, we appreciate you coming yeah. on camera. Okay, thank Thanks for being it, a good Austin. sport. Thank you, thank sir. You. And, uh, you know, as the norm, <laughs> go enjoy lunch on us, Mr. Okay. Hoffman. Thank you very thank much. Thank you. You have thank a good you, one, all right? All right. Appreciate it. Another successful one bite there, Joe. Yeah, I think. yeah. You know? No, they, they're very successful. Yeah. You know, yeah. Um, I, I have in the last week, I've heard some good feedback on the menu. No and doubt. Um, really just got to throw some kudos to Jay and the team. Oh, for, yeah. I was thinking back over the last year, going into this new season here, yeah. um, these guys have rolled out a new menu every 30 days. Every month. Since we rolled into the temporary exactly. facilities. And nothing, which is, he hasn't doubled up on anything so far. I, I mean, know, everything is I new. Know. Uh, you know, the burgers that come out on that menu every month are a different variety of burger. Obviously, like we've talked about before and, you know, Chef yeah. had a chance to kind of explain to everybody, we've got our, our secret menu, items that we can do on a regular basis. The countryside burger is always available. Yep. Um, but, you know, we've got a red, white, and uh, red, white, and blue burger on this menu. Yeah. I which, was eyeballing that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, there's, it, it, to, to be able to change stuff up like that, I think is, yeah. is really it's, great. It's incredible. And, uh, you know, they've been doing a great job. There's a few items, like through the month of October, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're keeping with the lunch menu available yeah. for dinner yep. uh, with a couple different specials that he's running weekly. Yep. Um, but there are a couple items that are on this menu in particular that can be seen as dinner entrees also with just a little bit of a, a change a up. Change. So there's a sandwich on there. We take the bread off. It's a perfect entree item. And then we've got our fried shrimp trio on this menu, oh, which beautiful. is a countryside favorite from back in the clubhouse. Yeah. One of those yeah. things that people absolutely love as an appetizer. We can do it as an appetizer during dinner services. We do it as a lunch item with the side. And then uh, we can do it for dinner with our starch and veg for that particular night, super salad. So it's- So there's even more variety than what yes. we have exactly. on paper, right? Exactly. Right. Exactly. So, More items available. Then. You know, just uh, as always, just ask. You know, of we're, we're here to please. Of course. Um, most things we can do. If yep. we can't do it, we'll be honest. Exactly. But, exactly. You know, we're we're here to serve. Yeah, so, man. Uh, beautiful. 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 Outstanding. Uh, so, we're in the first full week of October. Yeah. Here. Yeah. First full um, week past us, and we're yeah. just we're kind of moving forward now. Yeah. 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 Um, Let's. I want to talk real quick about some golf reminders. Of course. Before we Perfect. get into you know food and beverage. Sounds great. Um, again, first week of October. Mm -hmm. uh, last week we actually saw. Last Friday we saw the first full tee sheet we've yeah. had since last season. So, yeah. a lot of activity. A lot of you are back, which is super exciting for us. Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. But just a couple reminders. Uh, first and foremost. Make your tee times. Yeah. Uh, if you're a golf member, you have access to Chelsea. Uh, social member, you can make your tee times directly with the shop. Um, but yeah, make sure you're making your times because I expect um, activity levels yeah. to just continue to grow from this point forward. Sure. Um, and then, you know, with the increased activity, um, just a good reminder on course etiquette. Yeah. You know, keeping up pace of play, refilling your divots, repairing your ball marks, raking bunkers. You know, the, the standard stuff we all know, and I like to say um, we're all stewards, and stewardship is about leaving things better than how you found them. Awesome. And that goes day-to-day -day stuff sure, too, right? Of course, so of course. So we're out there on the golf course, 
Think about leaving the course better for the group behind you. Exactly. Right? Stewardship three thing. around. Yeah. So just some, some good reminders. And, and as we progress, um, I know Stephanie wants some camera time to sure. you know talk about some things. The last thing I want to talk about with um, golf operations is uh, the cart staging area and that work that's been happening there. Um, we should have that wrapped up in the next couple weeks here. Awesome. Definitely by the end of this month. Beautiful. Um, so again, uh, Mike Batter and the golf operations team has been ultra flexible yeah. um, over the summer as, yeah, as been, we've disrupted their world. <laughs> exactly. Um, but we, we hope to have that wrapped up. Um, concrete down, new brick pavers, fence moved back to a little closer to the building so we have more space to operate awesome but also we transition back to the regular flow of traffic on the golf Beautiful. course i know they'll so, appreciate that very much so <laughs> definitely um but thank you for all of you for your patience and following directions well and Excellent. uh being flexible so. Beautiful, man yeah all right we're getting some milestones as far as dates go joe you know what scott <laughs> milestone one is an understatement yeah but it's going to be the standard from this point forward. <laughs> Everything that happens. Yeah. Everything true. that happens from this point forward here at Countryside is going to be a milestone. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's great to think about uh, just kind of where we are is where we were two weeks ago, let alone like where we are today and where we're yeah. going to be two weeks from today. Yeah. No, um, right. But as far as camp countryside goes, mm -hmm. hitting some milestones also. Um, a week from tomorrow. Yeah. October 15th, we're standing in the spot where our tent's going to be. Yeah. You know, so these umbrellas are going to kind of go away because we're going to have full coverage over this way. Yeah. Uh, we'll get our tablecloths back on our picnic tables. Beautiful. Big round tables will come back underneath the tent again. Beautiful. Uh, we'll have some, uh, we, it's something that we didn't do last year that we're going to do this year. Yeah. Is we got some cushions coming for our benches just cushions. to kind of try to provide a little bit more comfort. Sure. Because I know that, you know, with Great the picnic idea. tables, it's just... Yeah, it, it, it's worked for what we've needed it to yeah, work for, but, but just to try to provide a little bit more yeah, comfort out, out, yeah. outside. Well, out that makes well. sense. And then uh, a month from today, actually. Yeah. November 7th, our first parking lot party. Get out of here. Yeah, man. So, you know, we're, we're ready to go for that. For whatever reason, mm -hmm. uh, it seems like the last parking lot party was just yeah, a week ago. It wasn't ago, too but long it was ago. Right? Several months ago. I know. Very true. So November 7th. November 7th is our first parking lot party. Beautiful. Yeah, we'll have it out here. We're going to do something I think we've kind of talked about it a few times or yeah. at least touched base on it. We're going to do something a little bit different this year. We're not going to do food trucks every every yeah. time we do those parking lot parties. Plan is still to do two times a month. Okay. One of those a month, we're going to provide the food out of our out of oh, our mobile beautiful, trailer beautiful kind of do it similar to the way that we did our concerts where we'll have it kind of concession style yeah come up grab your food Order. the same way you would with a with a food truck sure. to be honest with you sure but we're going to be doing our food out of there Perfect. and then the second one every month we're going to be doing food trucks so Excellent. we'll just again kind of provide a little bit more variety than yeah. you know sure but but we appreciate that the trucks so that do have first great one november 7th yes. is out of our that's trailer. out of our trailer. Excellent. But yeah. You know what, I think the most important thing, regardless of the food, the entertainment, uh -huh. the most ex important thing is coming down and socializing yeah. with us and yeah, your yeah, neighbors. Exactly. Um, because the parking lot parties are just sure. It's just a blast. Sure. So. I mean we we've seen it with, you know, just to touch base on it again, it's a little bit before the parking lot party. We've got a couple of Italian nights that are scheduled this month. Yeah. We're a couple of weeks away from those still. We got the twenty third and the twenty fifth yeah. of October. Yeah. Both Wednesday and Friday and night. Those are sold those out. Those are sold out online inside inside okay so that's right. the only way that we can kind of make sure that we're we're keeping an eye on yeah, things yeah. is it's closed off online you have the ability to make your reservation still outside just give myself or andy a call okay. we can get you on the list for outside under the tent as far as inside goes both nights are filled okay. right now All there, right. there are no times available but you know, if something changes, if you want to make a reservation for outside under the tent, yeah. and we've got a couple cancellations inside, and you want to move inside, we'll, we'll get sure, in contact sure. with you. And just kind of even you know so, there. you know, the tent with the string lights, I mean, yeah. it's, it's, it kind of adds exactly. to the ambiance. Exactly. You know. Yeah, some look, nice Italian music playing. I don't playing, have to you know, try so on. hard to sell it. Yeah. Uh, the, what no. you guys do sells, you know, like, sells to, itself. To be honest with you, I think uh, more than almost three-quarters of the reservations that we had were before the menu even came out. 
So people hear that Italian night and they just kind of jump on it. So beautiful. You know, chef might just be making some stuff up. We never know. Yeah, you, you yeah. never know. You never know. <laughs> um, glad he doesn't throw like no. a curveball. Like no. you know, all these reservations before the menu comes out yeah. and everyone shows up and we do tacos or something. Yeah, I mean, you know, it'll be fun. It we'll would see. be fun. Get some Italian tacos. <laughs> <laughs> Might be onto something there, Scott. Hey, you never know. <laughs> Anyways, Anything in taco so, form, I don't, I don't think is, is wrong. To be honest you're with right. You. You're right. So to wrap that up, yeah. um, we are we are back into season. Yeah. Next couple weeks, a lot more activity. Sure. Um, and again, every week that passes is a week closer to the clubhouse being yeah. finished. And yeah. uh, as you all will see in uh, this coming Friday's project update. A lot of changes over of there. Changes. Um, very, very uh, impressive, yeah. and uh, uh, I don't want to spoil it. But <laughs> it's, it's, it's awesome to it's see. Awesome. It really is. It really yeah. is awesome. A lot beautiful of progress. So. Yeah. Great. What else? I think we're good, Joe. Cover it. Yeah, I think All so. Right. Beautiful. Good for now. Um, Scott. Uh, I'll meet you here about a week from now. Sounds like a plan, man. Do it all over again. I'll be here. Countryside, as always, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you around the club real soon.